Now this figure 15-2 from Stalkup's Electrical Design Book, Volume 2, shows a condition of poor power factor. Now, when you look at the illustration, we show a, a 400 amp uh, motor load, uh, voltage is 480 volt, 277, and then we have a load in this panel board of 200 amps, giving us a total of 600 amps, but notice the power factor, 70%. So to do the math then, we would take 400 plus 200 amps, 600 amp. 600 amp times 480 times the square root of 3 times 70% poor power factor. The VA is 349, 349,020 volt amps. Now, notice that's the solution, 349,020 volt amps. Uh, now, notice if it was a 100% power factor instead of that 70%, it'd be 498,600 VA instead of 349,020 volt amps. Now, that's a big difference. So, you can see that's why the utilities will usually tell you you have to have a power factor of 90% all the time or even maybe 95% and if you don't put in uh, capacitor banks to correct it the utility will usually and then charge the facility uh, a monthly rate uh, for providing capacitors to provide uh, a power factor to a certain percentage so this is showing what uh, poor power factor uh, can do. It, it can really uh, overload your system greatly. So that's what this uh, figure 15-2 is illustrating.